to Sam Adele from Florida International University. And he will be speaking about closed storm in your system and stable bundles. Okay, so a little bit of a background uh, on the whole storming system itself. It was a uh, um, um, it, it was it started in uh, string theory. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a proposed super string theory compactification uh, considered as a product of uh, a four-dimensional space and space-time and uh, and a six-dimensional manifold, um, uh, which is a complex threefold. Um, but the the issue here at hand is that they were considering a Something's called a, a, a wrapping factor on n, and which made it non non uh, which made m uh, strictly non non um, So I guess it's a short background on, on where the problem started in string theory, but uh, you know it's uh, we're interested in it. So uh, more or less the the setup is um, we have a a, a, a complex threefold. And uh, uh, this is a fundam the fundamental form. Uh, the side would be a three zero um, form. Uh, of course, this is uh, sorry, Calabi Yao. I'm gonna be, uh, write Calabi Yao just like this, Calabi Yao. So a non vanishing, vanishing, the three zero form. Okay. Uh, then it's um, a vector bundle V uh, with metric H uh, over N. Can N be non compact? Or? Oh, yeah, it's, it's compact, yes. And Calabria means to keep zero point is closed or homo. Like yes. vanishing uh, not necessarily carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, with the H would be the metric of this vector bundle, okay, so the permission metric, and uh, well, so we have some uh, real number alpha prime, some fixed real number, and uh, this uh, connection H is a unitary connection, right? Uh, and then the now this the system is first. We have this um, f, uh, the curvature with h is uh, which omega squared is zero, and f two zero h uh, is equal to f zero two h is equal to zero. This is um, Yang Mills. Well, her mission, her mission, right? Yang Mills um, with respect to this um, connection. Um, so now two, uh, we have D of the differential of the this is also called conformally balanced and three is uh, this is the non kether part um, omega is equal to alpha prime over four of um, This is also called uh, Bianca identity or anomaly um, anomaly cancellation equation. Okay, so this is the system. Of course, uh, F F H F H is the curvature to, uh, with respect to um, nabla H uh, R 
nabla is the curvature uh, or the natural curvature um, of a connection given by uh, as a churn connection of, of omega okay omega d omega over n okay it's a natural one okay so now first uh, first uh, solutions or uh, kind of simple solutions are exactly the calabi yao calabi yao manifolds uh, when n is equal well well sorry when when uh, v is equal to the t0 and t10 of n and um, an h is given by by omega so you see this uh, this would be trivially zero, so it's it's a uh, Taylor, and that would that would make uh, the Calabi-Yau. Uh, well, it's if the Calabi-Yau manifolds are natural solution in that case. Now the first uh, non kähler solutions uh, were given by Van Fu and Yao, so uh, non kähler Taylor solutions by Fu and Yao. Around 2007, and they were found at the first solutions, a, which were um, principal well T2 bundles over K3 surfaces actually satisfied these uh, conditions, a, and then this was later expanded by uh, Fino. Uh, well, more more solutions were found by Fino. Well, sorry, one one thing I should say is. Uh, it was over uh, smooth K3 surfaces, right? But then here, the kind of one of the main themes of this uh, talk is to expand this to um, certain type of singular K3 surfaces and yeah, with special type of singularities, okay? Which I'll I'll, I'll go over in, in a moment. Um, so well, let, let me just write smooth over smooth uh, or sorry. Right, uh, two bundles over smooth K3, and then more a uh, non killer, um, but here is uh, as T2 bundles again over um, a singular. A3 surfaces where singular we have a finite and uh, it's called, uh, yeah, sorry it's, it's finite in I forgot the name uh, I mean it, they're they're a uh, spread apart I forgot the name sorry isolated isolated sorry I'm isolated I forgot the word isolated <laughs> Uh, the singularities. Okay, so yeah, it's finite isolated the singularities, also called A1. I'm gonna go over what is more or less what this uh, A1, but it's a it's a yeah, certain type of uh, of singularity, and they found solutions for um, this uh, following manifold. So. Uh, over smooth some smooth structures over these uh, manifolds S2 cross S3 and uh, R S2 cross S4 right and, and the actually here R so K between uh, 13 so they found solutions over these uh, smooth manifolds, uh, 22 and 18. Uh, of course, the the case where k is 22 and r is uh, r is 22 is the case of uh, of Fu and Yao. Okay. The same number. Yeah, is h2. The same number which appeared last time. Yeah, 22. <laughs> Ah, okay. It's the very same number. The yeah, magic number. number. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna write the the theorem 
so this is uh, the theorem. This is theorem states um, what solutions uh, come. So this is by Fu Yao, and I said later expanded by uh, Fino and Grancharov, Fino Grancharov and, and Besoni. So yeah, um, this is right, Fu Yao. Um, okay, so let x uh, omega be uh, singular. I'm just gonna write singular uh, k three, but it's singular with isolated singularities, the uh, uh, wild singularities, k three surface. Uh, let's say e n e x is the orbifold. Order, order number, number, and um, omega one, omega two are uh, anti-self-dual one-one forms. Okay. Now such that, uh, yeah, such that. Um, so these two one one forms their their classes uh, define a smooth uh, bundle T two bundle and X uh, yeah so such that they define a smooth bundle and so let E be a stable bundle. Over um, n, or I'm oh, sorry, not over n, uh, over x of degree zero. So the following we have the following alpha prime of e of x minus c two of e minus one half of c one of e squared. Uh, is equal to 1 over 4 pi integral of x of omega 1 okay. so if we have this equality then m has uh, has a hermitian Structure uh, M omega U, and there is a metric over E. There is a metric over E um, such that this uh, the pullback here E. The pullback of the metric H uh, M and omega U and uh, solve the whole Strominger system. Okay. Can you remember to me why do you mean what do you mean like by the class defining this group? Uh this uh well uh, you I guess you were in my last talk. Remember, the, there was the cipher bundles, uh, okay. and there were conditions to have them smooth. But uh, yeah, it was a construction. What do you mean, like the kernel? Yeah, like the uh, like, uh, forms representing this class, which is one one class, also it's like coming out the best one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But yeah, this one needs these forms for that coming from the most to be kind of I see. Special properties if you want the total space. I mean, from last talk, if uh, you want the total space of this bundle to be smooth mm -hmm. and the basis not smooth, mm -hmm. then there are some conditions on this class. I see. It's possible, but. I see, I see. I see. Yes. Okay. okay. Again, well, here I, I just want to mention something. It's a uh, uh, later on, I'll, I think it's important to mention that this. Uh, uh, I mean, if we have some control on on here, we, we will get. Uh, I mean, 
and in more interesting cases, uh, uh, I mean, more interesting cases for this equality. And yeah, so we'll 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 see later, okay? Um, yeah. Well, for now, any questions? Any anything? No. And this alpha prime is supposed to be positive. Yes. In physics literature, this corresponds to the, let's say, somehow length of the string. But this is not physically relevant. Yes. To be honest. Automatically, it is related. Yeah. Okay, so now, uh, actually, we have, um, okay, I'm gonna. Kind of settle where where we're working. So uh, if uh, we're considering uh, x t in the weighted projective space uh, a three, and by x t I mean um, a, a hypersurface of degree d in the weighted projective space, right? Like counting the weights. Okay. So so yeah, it's. Um, this is what I'll, I'll mean. Uh, it's uh, yeah. So I mean quasi smooth. Let me just write the details so I don't forget. So quasi smooth. This um, this quasi smooth condition is just that uh, before taking the action for the uh, weighted radius space, the cone is, is is smooth. Okay, that's a quasi smooth condition, um, and this has at worst the uh, 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 and has at worst a n singularities. Okay. Uh, okay. So an, an a n singularity, I would say maybe definition for now. An a n singularity is uh, basically the singularity created by uh, considering uh, a two. Right, uh, the great number or some you can say like some subset containing the origin of uh, of C two uh, quotient by Z uh, n plus one, where you send uh, x y x y to um, epsilon x epsilon y, where epsilon is the n plus one root of unity. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, or there's another way to visualize this as the variety given by. Um, I mean, it would be the same singularity z to the n plus one. Okay. So if the variety given, well, the singularity given by this uh, by this uh, polynomial, and this I'll just call this s for now. Now I want to mention. Uh, what are the how how does the blow because I have to resolve at some point we'll resolve this singularity via yeah, blow ups so I, I just want to mention real quick how how does this look because it's it's, uh, it's important later so um let's say I, I consider s tilde uh, uh, in 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 this um in this space right uh, let's say I have these uh, coordinates. U B W, right? With the usual uh, relations for blow up. Uh, so now let's. I want to look at um, in the affine neighborhood when W is is not zero. So the polynomial becomes uh, U over W times B over W plus Z N minus one after the blow. So you see, a, well, let's look at, I don't know if you can see from here, but if we look at the uh, exceptional divisor, the exceptional divisor when n is uh, greater than 1 uh, would be given by the polynomial u, u w times b w, right? So this is actually, I'm going to call this, uh, well, it's two curves, right? Two curves. So I'm going to call pi inverse of, uh, well, the exceptional divisor is going to be C plus C prime, okay? 
And then when n is equal to 1, we have, you know, a u over w, v over w plus 1. So this is just one curve now. Okay? So I have just one exceptional curve. Okay? This is uh, yeah, simple. Okay, now, uh, now let me write a little lemma. Um, so let's say X is a complex surface with at worst uh, A and singularities, singularities, and let Phi uh, be a blow up of this uh, of this surface, okay? At the singular at the singular point. Uh, now. When n is greater than 1, we have that the Picard group of x tilde is isomorphic to the Picard group of x. Uh, the Dirk sum with the uh, well, it's integer square, which is, I mean, basically is given by, um, gener well, it's generated by two, um, by two uh, line, more line bundles, but uh, yeah, these line bundles are basically L would end up being some N minus one, uh, let's say C, and L prime is just uh, exceptional divisor, okay? So this is, the thing is that these, uh, these are Q Cartier, uh, so some, some multiple, well, I guess I would have to say that this is a normal surface, but, um, these uh, these are two Cartier divisors. So you have a Bay divisors and curve, but then some multiple uh, of of the Bay will become Cartier. Okay. Let me make a very naive question. Uh -huh. Just because, can you say like at worst, like at the worst mm -hmm. possible, like is like there's some uh, order to what is the worst and what is not worst? Like, what is precisely mean? Well, I mean, I, I would say. Instead, just that it has these singularities, not not that has a more singular to be singular. Well, so, this so, uh, considered like the mildest one, the best yes. singularities, which are more small. Like everything else is first isolated singularities. I think the most standard singularities for yeah, isolated. And second, this type for complex surfaces are very well studied. That's why it's called and uh, for differential geometry. See, this type of singularities are uh, good because usually you can extend for this type of polyfolds and detect all possible motions in all the many geometry. Ah, okay. Half metric. And you can say what the many metric is on this Einstein. object, and it's for pretty much Einstein, uh, bundles. And then you have all of the, you have the post, like the more formulas, which are in, like related to all the characteristics with the corresponding class, integration, not proof, and you one needs to be careful exactly to count some numbers usually, like Riemann Rock module comes with some specific mm -hmm. numbers which we have. Yeah, in some ways. Yeah. But pretty much all of the theory with some modification works. I see. I see. Well, yeah. in the case. It's not true in general. So there would like takes to long I mean when you have this yeah, uh, right. uh, if you want to go for like classification in three dimensions of complex sources. Meet all these flips, flops, and then the similarity becomes I see. much more than yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, thank you. <laughs> so n is uh, so when n is equal to one, is just the uh, uh, is is just this given by an exceptional device. Okay. Um, so we'll look, we'll play with these cases and do combinations of divisors for things that we want. Um, Okay, now, um, yeah, so, 
Now this is uh, where the last presentation ended. Uh, so again, uh, we had that X was a K3 uh, with A and singularities. With A and singularities. And some, uh, oh well, actually, I should mention something else. Uh, there's a result by uh, the Castro uh, that this, uh, there is, well, there is a class of, of, of K3, singular K3 surface. And actually, I should actually define what's that thing. what I mean by singular K3 surface, because even to define a, a trivial canonical bundle, you need uh, some sort of smoothness, no? But this, this I'll, I'll define. I'll define that. So um, X is uh, well. It's a uh, you know a sur surface uh, with at worst worst uh, a and singularities. Say um, and we have that. A, so let's say. The omega x, I'll define it like, or would define it like, the push forward of um, omega x minus the the, the singular uh, locus. Okay, so this would be the 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 line bundle. Okay, it does define a line bundle, and and everything is nice then. Uh, actually, yeah, the the dualizing chief of X is actually this one. It's precisely this one. Okay, or isomorphic to it. Okay. So so yeah. Now now uh, now that's out of the way. Let me just try to go through this quite long. So again, uh, x is k3 uh, with at worst an singularities uh, and uh, hyperplane. Well, sorry, not hyperplane. Uh, uh, ample divisor part of x. Yeah, actually, I said that the Castro found that these were so found that the for some list of uh, K three uh, on of co dimension one right so something of this form of uh, P A zero A one to A three uh, so K three surfaces in weighted projective space there's a uh, calculate up to ninety five of them and they found that the Picard is actually it's just it's just rank one, or or given by um, some O n of x, okay? And actually, you can yeah, you can calculate what's that uh, O n. It's not O one O one in general. It's not it's not uh, it's not a line bundle, but some uh, for some n it will be, okay? Because it's two Cartier, so some multiple of this will actually be uh, Cartier, or well a line bundle. So now, uh, now let's start away. Uh, yeah, and I call this uh, the the H or hyperplane. Uh, if I mention hyperplane, it's, it's this one, not 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 the usual one. It's a uh, some multiple of of uh, what uh, in the smooth case, okay? So now assume, uh, sorry, at worst with at worst with AM singularities and and some ample ample divisor uh, such that so. Assume that this is true such that uh, the cipher bundle, or yeah, the cipher bundle defined by this class uh, x is smooth. Then we have uh, therefore any blow up of singular points. We have the following. Um, the follow. We have the following uh, results. So it's uh, the 
after the blow up, the canonical class, or should I write maybe omega x? Write omega x. So omega x tilde would still be a, it still be trivial. And it's actually, I think that's why they have the name canonical singularities because the canonical bundle stays uh, stays the same. Okay, actually, the, the it, it, it will be that, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it stays the same, right? Uh, now, yeah, I mean, the, it, it will be the pullback the pullback of the original one. That's the full. That's the full uh, uh, result. So, if you have an A N singularity and you pull back the uh, canonical class, canonical bundle, it would still be the canonical bundle. No, no, no added uh, divisors. Okay. And um, well, if, if we assume that X is uh, X is uh, simply connected. Uh, this is the orbifold fundamental group of X would still be uh, simply connected. Okay. Then I have two. So two, there exists an ample divisor. Well, rational would be rational. Ample. Uh, and and there exists uh, D1, D2. This is in the case of uh, a n n greater than one, so there exists two after one blow up, two divisors in the Picard of x tilde, such that um, such that their uh, primitive with respect of uh, this sample divisor, so that's uh, e dot d one is equal to a e dot d two is equal to zero, and uh, the cipher bundles they define so such that c one of y one x Are smooth, are, are smooth, and and also we have that there's a, also simply connected. So why one okay? So it's it's uh, yeah, they're simply connected and okay, they're smooth. So this is where. The last time we we uh, I came uh, to here and that's where I left off. So now the the next part. Well, I, I shall mention uh, what surfaces I'm I'm looking at specifically. So. Um, so we we'll look at X. X thirty, so X thirty uh, in uh, so P P five five six eight eleven X thirty six um, P uh, seven eight nine twelve and P fifty and X fifty. P um, seven eight ten and five. Okay. Uh, this one actually uh, X thirty has um, A one A seven and A ten singularity. Uh, X thirty six has A six A seven. A3 and A2 singularity and X50 has uh, A6, A7, A1, and A4 singularities. Okay. Now uh, the thing is that uh, here, uh, after the blow-ups, we we would we would find all 
all possible as uh, well these uh, connected sums of, of, of the spheres will will complete the, the picture okay all, all possible uh, if you see uh, 18 this, these numbers add up to 18 so that's a maximum possible number of, of singularities or the uh, well maximum possible of blow-ups we could do right of, um, this is a topologically restrict topological restriction right because every time we blow up we get either two two uh, curves which go to h2 right or well one when when we have an a1 so we can uh, do the even case odd case so so we can complete fully the picture okay uh, okay now now let me start with the stable bundle so so it's like uh, understanding this, this I don't know the same as but I just it's like the way to try to construct solutions by studying stable bundles over the surfaces is that the idea mm -hmm. like because of this is with the full yell yeah yeah well this this uh, yeah actually there's this equivalence uh, that if you have a stable bundle on the surface then you automatically solve uh, uh, the first the first uh, equation the mm -hmm. Uh, Hermes and Yang Mills, which are the result is by um, Donaldson, Fu, uh, no, Donaldson, Yao, uh, Ollenbeck. It's, it's a, it's a, it's Even a, in the singular case? No, no, no. Uh, well, I would say it, it's, the, the theorem says uh, if it's stable, then it solves this. Uh, well, there, if it's stable, then it has a metric that. Uh, solves this Hermitian Young Mills uh, equation, so so it's quite it's quite po powerful. So existence of of a stable bundle will will uh, imply that that part of the system. Okay. The converse holds. Huh? The converse holds also like. Uh, uh I, I'm I'm I don't know. Maybe it's, it's if only if maybe. Uh, maybe it's equivalent. So now here's uh, well stability. Uh, we have a we select one ample divisor on the surface, and, and we have a definition of a, of a, of stability, which is um, so something called mu of a mu of e is is. Or I rather there's some h mu of e in this case would be uh, c one of e intersected with h over the rank of e. This is a uh, slope parameter or slope, a uh, not slope parameter, just a slope of a vector bundle, and um, and basically st st stability means that if you have a vector bundle, no a uh, sub bundle. Has a greater stability than than uh, than the vector bundle itself. Okay, so now um, yeah, now to construct uh, vector bundles, uh, we'll use uh, something that's called serial correspondence. So yeah, the circle, so the serial correspondence says. Um, course by ser. Uh, so let z in x be a complete intersection intersection of co-dimension 2. Okay. I'm sorry? Local complete intersection. Yes, yes, sorry. Local complete intersection. Local complete intersection. Uh, then, uh, or yeah, also let's so we have uh, let n and l be in the big R of x. Then uh, we have the following extension. And E is a, is a vector bundle. Okay. Uh, 
uh, well, this, the theorem is that this happens if and only if uh, it's a uh, yeah, dual tensor M tensor uh, Kx. Z satisfy Kelly uh, Baccarat. Kelly Baccarat property. Okay? So, um, yeah. Okay. Now, here's the last part of the talk. Um, so, uh, yeah, let Let's see if I have enough time. Let x tilde k be a surface obtained by blowing up by blowing up uh, these a n singularities, uh, singular points of uh, x thirty. Well, one of those x30, x36, x50. And well, you know, since I wrote before, every time you blow up, so I blow up this a4, then I get an a, a2. And you, you, every time you blow up, you decrease the, well, the new surface will have a, a still a singularity, but of two, minus two of the previous, uh, previous singularity, okay? And so yeah, this, when you, and these are chains of blow ups. And you, you see, I can, I can make first, for example, here I can make an A1, and then I can make the a, either 7 or 10, or, um, yeah, this is this would be the one of the lowest uh, K, okay? Uh, but yeah, we can, we can do, we can do that, um, okay? Such that, um, Eighteen, so B two of x tilde k is equal to k plus four, right? This is a minimal, minimal uh, this topological constraint. Uh, then for k greater than uh, one, there exists a stable bundle. A stable uh, rank two. Run two uh, with C one E to zero and C two um, C two of E equal to um, say seven last time I checked uh, seven uh, or sorry C two C four C gradient equal to seven. So there, there exists this uh, stable bundle. Uh, give a little sketch of proof. So I'll, I'll consider the case uh, when x tilde, x tilde of one uh, of the blow up. Um, sorry. Consider this case of one just blow one blow up of x thirty six uh, of. Uh, a three singularity. Okay. So yeah, almost done. Uh, so here in x uh, in x thirty six, uh, h the hyperplane hyperplane uh, divisor is going to be o of thirty six. No, not thirty six. Fifty six. Okay. And uh, q. So let's define Q to be a 14H minus 11L uh, minus, uh, minus 28L primes. And Q is sample and Q squared is equal to two. So uh, yeah, we, we can construct the the line, a line bundle such that, uh, well, we can construct E prime such that uh, the determinant of E prime is equal to, to Q, or yeah, to Q. Uh, To 
2Q and C1 of, you know, C2 of E prime is equal to L or some L uh, that we choose. So, so if this is, uh, the thing is that if this is stable, if this E, e prime is stable, we will have that E, uh, where is E prime tensor, uh, well, Q, negative Q, or dual Q, is, uh, is stable also, and actually E will have, e, C1 of E will be, will be actually um, zero, and C2 of E will be equal to L minus Q squared. Okay. Um, yeah, this, this, uh, yeah, so we'll, we will have, uh, no, not Q, oh, well, that's one tilde, the prime, and uh, two Q, answer I, C, zero. So this is the extension that we have, and uh, I will have to kind of briefly show or tell you why is this uh, satisfy the Kelly Baccarat, but uh, it all comes down to checking the dimension, the dimension of the, well, this, uh, Right, but this is you know this is trivial, so this is uh, basically checking this dimension. Because if I if I make this L bigger than the dimension of uh, bigger than this dimension, bigger than this number, then we'll automatically have the Katie Baccarat uh, condition. Uh, so this is uh, uh, Q. Uh, now here there's some there's a vanishing theorem. There's a vanishing theorem by uh, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce this one. So you do have some liberty concerning L. That's the point. You can take this. Uh -huh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, I mean, the thing is we want to, yeah, this, this, an L is, an, is going to end up being the, the, the number uh, or the length of, of, of Z. So the number of points I have in Z, which I can choose, right? Now, um, then, but well, with this uh, vanishing theorem, then the Euler characteristic of uh, of of to Q is just going to be, you know, uh, well, the Euler characteristic of uh, of O x to the one plus one half. A, well, not their formula, but K is trivial, so so it it just um, to Q squared. And this is a uh, same Hodge theory applies, and this is a K three surface. So this is this is this is two, okay. And this will be just uh, two Q squared. So in a sense, this will be six, okay. So uh, if we let L be bigger than six, uh, we'll we will uh, get the get the construction of the bundle, okay. So, um, I mean, yeah, basically the next part uh, is proving the stability, but uh, in a sense, uh, the, so, yeah, we, we have, uh, I mean, we assume there, there's a, a, a argument in, in Hulbrecht's and Lenz's uh, book on, on modular uh, shifts. Uh, which they, it's, it's pretty much we follow them, but uh, yeah, basically uh, the in the end what matters is that there's uh, yeah there's no no effective divisors. Uh, sorry, that um, there there are no effective divisors of, of certain degree uh, like degree less than two, so they they don't really exist. Okay. So there's no bundle that's, uh, there's no a bundle, a, a, there's no destabilizing bundle, okay? And, but yeah, I, 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 think it's, I think it's okay, I think it's fine, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, well, any questions? Yeah, sorry,
So what I'm 